Hi, great people. You are welcome back to Physical Fashion House channel. My name is Fola. Today, I'll be teaching you how to make this beautiful boss lady shorts. So let's get started. I have my pattern here with me. The first thing I did is I measured two inches in and I rule it down. This is going to serve as my starting point. And the, the length of my trouser is going to be 16 inches, which I mark here. It depends on how long and how short you want it to be. It's a short, you can choose to make it like 14, between 14 to 16. And uh, we have two inches down here as our hem allowance. Here I have my hip line of eight inches and my crotch line of uh, 9.5. The hip measurement we're working with is uh, 38. We divide it by four. It give us 9.5. That is what I use as my crotch uh, line. So the first thing we have to do now is to get the hip measurements, which is a 38. We divide it by four. You measure 9.5 on this hip line, 9.5. You measure the same thing on the crotch line. The same thing is measured on the waistline, 9.5. Then you connect it with straight ruler. The next thing we want to get is our crotch line. And to achieve that, on hip measurement, we have 9.5. We are going to divide it into 4. It gives us like 2.4. So we place it on this uh, crotch line. After this line, we measure 2.4. Here we have it. The next thing we do is to connect it just this way to give us our crotch curve. So the next thing we want to do is to take care of the waist measurements. And the waist measurement we are working with is 27. We divide it by 4. Give us 6.75. That's 6 3 quarter. We measure our waist from this uh, point. The next thing we do now, on this uh, crotch line, we measure everything we are having on this crotch line. We are having close to 12 inches. Then we get the midpoint of it. The close to six inches. We repeat it here on the waistline and we connect it. So, this way, determine how we get our darts for the waist. And what we do is that we come to the left and to the right with a half, half an inch. On this line, we come down with four inches, then we connect it. So the dart has been formed. So all we need to do is that after 6.75 that we have measured here, so we just return this uh, one inch dart allowance, just this way. So but for this boss lady short, we are not really going to hold that dart. So it's like a, a pleat we are having there. So in that wise, because we want to hold it as pleats, it now depends on how bogus you want your pleats to be. So I will want my pleats to be like 1.5. You can make yours two inches. So instead of this one inch that I return here now, I will return 1.5 because it's 1.5 I want to use to hold my pleats. So the next thing we want to do is to connect. We are going to connect from this 1.5 to our hip line. Now I want to determine how I want my shorts to be down here. So you can make it straight. But the type of shot we are making is not a fitted one. Assuming it's a fitted one at the lap region, you will have come in on this line, you will have come in by one inch. Then you connect from this your uh, hip, you just connect there, or from your crotch line, you connect there. But for this one, I want it to extend out like a shape. So in that wise, I will be coming out from this line with a uh, one inch. You can use half, I connect it. Then from my hip, I connect to this uh, point. I think you see what I'm doing. So the next thing I will be doing, I want to return what we are having on my crotch line here now. Like 12 inches, I will return it here from my extension. Then I connect it. So this is the front pattern we are going to fold this in to cut it out 
So this is it. I'm going to cut this out, but before we cut it out, I'm going to add the seam allowance to it. Then on the waist region, I'm going to come down by one inch uh, to shape the uh, center front of my front cut. I will connect it from this end. I want to hide my seam allowance now. I had my seam allowance of half an inch to this. Half an inch is being added to this. I had it to this side. My half an inch seam allowance. Then I had half an inch seam allowance to the upper region of my front uh, coat. So this is the front coat. So I want to cut it out. So this is the front pattern. We want to move straight to the back pattern. Now, I've gone ahead to pin down my front pattern on the back uh, pattern. And one inch, we are seeing up here, is the extension of our back. You know, this is the original line of our pants for the uh, front cut before we step down with one inch. So now, I have to move upward with a one inch for the back cut. So, and the first thing I will be doing is to add two inches to my crotch uh, line. I'm taking my two inches extension for the crotch um, region of back from this line before seam allowance. So I have my two inches here. On it, I will step down with a half an inch. Let me connect this line first. I want to connect it with this one inch extension of uh, back cut. This is where we are having it before the seam allowance. So from this line now, I will step inward with one inch. So let me get it, get it here as well. Then I connect it. So we now grab our French cuff. We want to get our crotch line for the back. So we just open this. Then I connect from here now. I'm connecting to this uh, half an inch I step down from the, the crotch region. Just this way. Our back crotch cover has been formed now. We are going to be adding one inch to the back cut as our his allowance because this particular shot we are making is a very roomy one. It's very free. So before the seam allowance, I will mark my one inch here. I'll be folding the M line by the time I want to cut it out. So I come to this side, I step outward with one inch. One inch from this point. I come to my hip line. I step out with one inch. So for the waist region now, from here, I'm going to connect to this end slantly. So I want to measure everything we are having in our waist uh, region here, excluding the seam allowance. I'll measure everything, even including the uh, dart measurements or uh, pleats. So I'm having 8.5 altogether. So that 8.5, I will get it here. I will get the 8.5 here, just this way. From this very point, I have my 8.5 here. So I will connect with my straight ruler. The next thing I will do is to connect from this point to this point, and from this point to this point. For the waist uh, region, I won't add any one inch here. So then, I connect this. That is for our back measurements. So the next thing I will do now is to remove this uh, pattern and had the uh, seam allowance so everywhere. I fold it at the hem allowance. So 
So this is the back pattern. For this uh, project, I'll be using this uh, beautiful pink Mikado to make this uh, boss lady short. I'm having one yard here with me. It's by 60. The next thing I quickly want to draft out the pattern for you is the sheet and the uh, uh, zipper fly. To achieve that, for the zipper fly, we'll be using 7 inches by 1.5. I collect it 7 inches by 1.5. I step up with a uh, 2 inches. I curve it this way. So this is what I'm going, going to cut out. Let me write it there. Super fly. And half an inch will be added round it when you are using it to cut out your fabric. And um, note that for the uh, pattern, seam allowance has been added. This is it. I've gone ahead to cut out my fabric. It's on fold, so I will have to remove the pin now. So I'll go and cut out this. Now I've go ahead to remove the pattern from my fabric and they have indicated the the back. This is the back and this is the the front cut. So for this front cut, the first thing I did is that I went ahead to attach my side pocket. To attach your side pocket, I will drop the link. We have a video on that that we did recently about the side pocket and i've gone ahead to hold my pleats this is the front split i've uh, had it so those are the things i've done so far for the uh, front cut so i want to go ahead because our focus on this video is basically the in the uh, shorts and the zipper area and the band area so the next thing we want to do now is to go ahead to the Sipa area. Yes. This is the sipa fly, and this is the sheet. To get the sheet of your sipa, what you do is that after this one is 1.5, then we had half an inch, half an inch to the side. By the time you measure everything together, it gives you 2.5, 2.5 by 8 inches. You are going to cut out for your sipa sheet. You are going to cut out 5 inches by 8 inches. Five inches by eight inches then you place your interfacing you you iron you iron knit them place it on fold and iron very well then you are going to mark half an inch down here then from this 2.5 you have to connect to two inches and rule it then i cut it out you know for hop here we are having 2.5 here we have two inches that is how i come about this this uh, 8 inches by 2.5 inches that is after adding the seam allowance is standard but you know that we came down the front cut with one inch to shape our front cut so that one inch you are going to reduce it on this uh, zipper flyer and you will do the same thing on the sheet so i will just go ahead and uh, mark one inch i'll mark one inch on the upper part not on the cuff region one inch I mark one inch, I connect it and uh, cut it off. Hope you get what I'm doing here. When we were drafting the front cut, we shape our center front with one inch. We came down with one inch. That one inch, you have to reduce it from your zipper fly as well. So as to, to align. The same thing will be done here. yes so this is what we are having now so the next thing we are to do now is to bring this together then measure like two inches mark it then i notch it this way so the zipper flyer is going to be on this uh, this one by my right but when it gets to your body it will be by your left 
that is the one that super flyer will be and this is the way it's going to be so what i will do is that i'll measure what i'm having from this notch from this notch to this end i'll measure two inches i will notch it so i'll do the same thing to this part from this notch to this notch i'm going to join it together with a half an inch before we now proceed in attaching our sheet down flyer and for this uh, sheet i'm going to stitch it down stitch here down then i'm going to overlock this is the upper part you won't overlock the upper part because that is the one that we enter the uh, band so you overlock here you overlock this uh, down part for this sheet to attach our zipper flyer and the sheet we are going to do it together on the on the machine so that you will everything will be clear to you but firstly let me join Now, this is it. We have go ahead to fix our zipper fly. You can see how beautiful and neat it looks. So, this is the back. We have had our uh, pleats. The next thing we want to do is to just place the um, back. This is the right side. Then we go ahead and place the right side on the right side and join the side with a half an inch. We do the same thing here. We join it with half an inch all through. So let me just go and do that. Now, this is it. I've gone ahead to join the side together. After joining this uh, side together, I folded in my M allowance before I join this uh, inseam part. I join here then. I now finally join the uh, crotch uh, area from the two inches notch. I take it up from there, then join with my half an inch straight to the uh, center back. So that is what I've done so far. So the next thing, which is the final stage for us to do now is to fix our band. This is the band. I cut out five inches. After joining everything together, ensure that you measure what you are having in your waist again you can just fold it this way then measure it you can see this is 30.5 amounting to 27 inches which is our waist uh, measurements so that is what we are having here now so the next thing you are going to do the waist measurement we are working with is 27 
you have to add uh, like four inches to it. So here now, I'm having 32 inches here now. I added like five inches to my uh, original waist measurement because of this uh, sheet. When you close it, this is it. Sheet is inside. By the time you open it, because your band will be attached up to this uh, level, so you have to put that into consideration. The first one I measure is for us to know that we are having our exact 27 inches. Now you want to measure it to how to know the length of the band you are cutting out. So you measure it around this way. Measure it together with this uh, sheet. So we are having like 31 inches. So I cut out like 32 inches here because of the of a stitch allowance. I've pasted my interfacing. This half inch you see me living here is going to serve as a seam allowance. So I use light interfacing. That is why I have to place it uh, both on the lining and the fabric. I put it everywhere. If you are using hard interfacing, you are good to just fix it just from this uh, center to this end. So that is for that. I will stitch it like half of an inch here. Then I will turn it to the right side. Then I will start joining the band to the waist of my shirt. After joining my band this way with half an inch, after going right, I will ensure that I fold it in half an inch. This half an inch, I will fold it in and high on. And high on it very well. By the time I use it to cover my waist, it must have been high on. After you have joined your band first round, you cut away this. So let me go and do that. Now, this is our boss lady shot. Everything is being placed. We have uh, joined our waistband. You can see how neat and elegant everything is. This is the inner view of it. Beautiful. Wow. So, the only thing we just go and do now is to attach our button. So, this button we'll be using in this uh, project. We are going to make two button holes. So the button hole will be made here. So the button will be attached here. Then it will appear here. That's the only thing I will do and do then. Our beautiful boss lady shirt is ready. So another thing that we need to do after uh, fixing my button hole and the button is to fix my belt hole. Need like a five. When you cut out two inches by whatever length of your fabric, I'm going to fold it this way. Then I stitch it just this way. Then I will now cut out like a 3.5, 3.5 to 4 inches. I will cut it out and I'll cut out like five of that. One battle will be fixed at this center back. Then you come to the to the front at this that region one will be fixed here one will be fixed here then you measure what you are having from this point to the center back we are having 10 inches so you share it into two so you mark here so one will be fixed here then one will be fixed there as well so those are the five points we are going to fix our bed hole so i will do that then we will show you the Find out. This is the outcome of our boss lady shorts. You can see how beautiful and elegant it looks. Try it so you know what we're talking about. So thank you so much for watching this uh, video. Share this video with your friends and family and drop your comment in the comment section. If you are yet to subscribe, do where to subscribe now. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.